All right, life, liberty, and the pursuit of wokeness. Yep, Thomas Jefferson's Monticello estate now accused of going woke after visitors say the founding father's home has been flipped to criticize Jefferson and trash his legacy. Sounds unbelievable, right? Jeffrey Tucker is the founder of the Brownstone Institute and just visited Monticello and is just as outraged as you would think he would be. So, Jeff, you want an educational day of one of America's indispensable men? What did you find? Well, I went on the 4th of July, right, to pay homage to the great man who inspired emancipation of, 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 of slaves, who brought a separation of church and state, the author of the most important documents since the Magna Carta, the Declaration of Independence, that still inspires everybody today, all men are created equal and all this kind of stuff. A great architect, scholar, you know, Thomas Jefferson. And instead, I got you know exactly the opposite. It just uh, yeah, debunking his his history, his reputation, uh, putting him down, uh, demoralizing everybody on my tour. It was it was just sad, sadly predictable too these days. I just thought that maybe Monticello would be protected from this uh, disease of wokeism, but uh, I was sadly wrong. You know, it's a it's a it's a it's a plan. Uh, let's go infect the boards on these homes, which is these, these are museums, yeah. and go in there and take over and do this whole thing from the slave perspective. I took this tour. It's on Fox Nation. Yeah. I did a whole thing. There's a whole t uh, uh, tour there. You could talk about the whole slave community. No reason to pull any punches <clears throat> yeah. there. But to go to the main house yeah. and not talk about this incredible man is crazy. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. And you know, the, I don't know if you noticed this, but uh, the last time I went, it may have been you know a couple of couple of decades ago, really. But the house is full of grandeur. You yeah. know, there was a sense of, of majesty about the place. No longer, the place is filled with bric-a-brac. You know, it, it it looks like there's a rummage sale going on there or something. They've got uh, contemporary paintings festooning this and that. You can't even get out of the music room without having to be forced to look at some woke piece of art. And 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 the surly tour tour guides who've been told to do. This. Just keep putting him down. Every question that people are a asking as they go through, did Thomas Jefferson, Jefferson invent that? And they'll say, oh, he never invented anything. His reputation is wildly overblown. He was just a, a tinkerer, nothing more than that. And, and it goes on like this, and it's, it's depressing and demoralizing and, and truly upsetting. You would think that Monticello would be something of a sacred space. I mean, there are people coming from all over the world to pay homage to the, to the great man, you know, with a sense of a piety and appreciation for the gift that he gave the world. It was an, 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 a real gift um, of, of freedom right. and, it, and not a word about not a word about that. It's unbelievable. And Mont Montepelier, too, James Madison's home, the same thing has happened. I covered that over the weekend. We've got to push back on this. It'll never yeah. happen at Mount Vernon because it's privately owned. So real quick, one of these other signs that were up there says this, all men are created equal, close quote, being lived up to in our country today, question mark. When will we know it? When, we know, when will we know when it is? What does that, I mean, are you kidding me? Yeah, no, this is this is the problem. You know, the ironic thing about this is that Jefferson was dogged his entire political life by the claim that he was a, a, a secret abolitionist, which, which he, he was in some ways. And certainly he has inspired uh, Lincoln. You know, there wouldn't have been a Lincoln if there hadn't been Thomas Jefferson. But you don't get that message at all. You get the, the you go completely opposite. That he was, it was, he was a hypocrite. He was a liar. He was a bad person, and and so on. And it just, it's just truly heartbreaking. I, mean, I feel bad for Jefferson's legacy. I mostly in that day, well, I was sad myself because it's the last thing I expected. Although looking back, I realized, okay, right. but all the other people on my tour, they just were left demoralized and sad right. and robbed of you know forty, but, but Jeff, 40 bucks. It, it can't I, stand. It's, it can't stand your beginning. You're going to start that story in the Washington Times about the Madison House. That's going to start, and people are going to push back. We have to demand our past back. So. Uh, he re he was he was so. born into a slave society. He could not figure a way to get out of it. Bad on him. He knew the evils of slavery. Was able was unable to stop it. And you got to go read about him. Put yourself back in those times. To fully appreciate what was happening. No one makes excuses for it, but well, that is not the story of Jefferson.
Thomas Jefferson is an American treasure and a treasure right. for the whole world. And he belongs to this country and he belongs to everybody in this country. We have every right to be patriotic right. and proud of what this right. man achieved in his lifetime. Go on a tour and you and be ready to answer uh, for the uh, for the tour guide bringing you bringing you around diminishing his legacy. Uh, here's what the Monticello spokesperson said. Our goal is to present an honest, inclusive history of Monticello in all aspects as well as Jefferson's contributions to the founding of their country. They should all resign. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Jeff, for bringing it yeah, up. No, they're not doing that. Okay, you got my it. pleasure. Thank I you. I hope so. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.